Welcome to our living room. This is the bonus round for the quest for the ultimate Disney movie. So this time around, it's time to delve into the witchy villains. So you may have noticed, as we have, that Disney likes their villains extra witchy. Yeah. So we were tracking it. Here they are. Fifteen movies have witchy villains in them, according to our opinion. Not as many as I thought there'd be. Yeah. 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 It's only about a quarter of the movies have witchy villains. But here they are. Alright, let's pick which one. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> which one is the witchiest? Us. Which witch is witchiest? Ruin and darkness. I summon Okay, so I wonder like is she a witch or does she just come across this magic mirror by accident? Oh, she's got more than magic mirror up her sleeve. Yeah, she's got spell books, she's got disguises, you know, she's got potions and chalices. She's willing to like turn herself into the Wait, why, why can't she just like turn into like a little girl like that? To sell apples. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah why okay, she be ugly? so... Sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so we've got the Sorcerer in Fantasia. What's happening? Also, uh, what's his lips? Chernabog. Um, yeah, Cap Satan. Cap Captain Demon Dude. <laughs> He's so scary. He doesn't have enough pupils. Yeah. Oh, those bad teeth. Yeah, yeah I was about, about to say that. You don't floss, folks. <laughs> That's right. And so here's the giant from Fun and Fancy Free. Is he witchy? Oh, well, yeah, he, he has a whole song where he talks about how he can do things with, because he knows the magic wordies. Proof that you don't need to be highly educated to be magical. Yeah. Spoopy. Did we give him like half a point? I think we did because. Oh, this is oh. iconic. Yes. Look! Look at all that evil lime green. I know. Whoa! She's making herself huge. Oh right, she becomes a dragon. I yes. Forgot. An evil purple and lime green dragon. Yeah, she's got to keep up the aesthetic. That's true. Her tongue is green. Yeah. And this is uh, Mad Madam Mim, who was just the villain here in this movie for about 10 minutes, but she's definitely witchy. It's pretty witchy, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. And, oh. and there was that whole wizard fight with her and Merlin at the end, I kind of like that. So. Oh, we this said it was this is pretty witchy. I'd we say. said the snake was witchy because it used hypnotism. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Only good for half a point. That ain't natural. They did hypnotism at your grad party, Jaira. Well, it wasn't this. Uh, I, I don't know. Go yellow and purple. It's <laughs> <laughs> definitely more in control. She's creepy when you think about it. Yeah, especially for Mosley there. And here we have the Horned King oh, from the Black yes. Cauldron. Also with bad teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was so like. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's oh, different. What's going on with his face? Uh, Oh, evil green smoke. And we've got a trio of witches as well. Yes. So that, that's her name. She is the sea witch. So it's definitely. Yeah, and did Sebastian say, "Don't go to her, Ariel. She's a witch." Yeah. Demon witch. Yeah, she's like all about casting spells and trying to get more she's power. She's got potions, she's got chants, and she's, she's just so angry. <laughs> it's vengeful. Yeah. Yes. And Jafar. Yes. Isn't he technically a sorcerer? Uh, same diff. Yeah, it's like He's the male version of a witch, right? Yeah. 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 And then we've got Hades. God of the Underworld. Yeah. So, you know, he's got a potion, and then there's the the three witches beings here, the chair and eyeball. Yeah. The fates. Okay. Yeah. He's my, is yes. it chemistry? Is it magic? Maybe both? Yep. Because of the lab code, I think we only gave it half a mark. I think yeah. he's like a mad scientist. Yeah, I think so. But with magic potions that turn people into llamas. Yeah. That ain't natural. I'd love to be a llama. And then 
Due to the hypnosis precedent, we also gave Home on the Range half a mark because. <laughs> that ain't natural. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he's saying the cows. Only. Yes, he's hypnotizing cows with his yodeling. Yeah. How come? Oh, that's, that's such a Disney thing to go into, like a Dumbo type scene there. Yeah. It's like Bella. Yes, She's tone deaf. Yep, that's the cure. Yeah. That's the antidote. Um, and Dr. Yes. F. Yeah, he was. Nice. Yeah. That was pretty witchy. Yeah. That ain't natural. He was talking to like his weird shadow demon all the time. Yeah. And then. He's in touch with the other side. That's yeah. true. He but I, I do like how the other side betrayed him at the end and. Yeah. Which it always is. That's true. So, that was good. He thought you he was in you, control. You think you control the power? Controls you! Yeah. Right, Dr. Fasuli? Yes. How do you say his name? And then there's Mother Gothel. And we had some debate here whether she was actually a witch or just a lucky magic user who stumbled across the flower and used it for her own good. Either way, this ain't natural. It's true. She's using magic. And she's pretty good at animation. Too, which ain't natural. Yeah. This time, she was determined to keep it hidden. Yep. And, and that is all of them. Wow. Yeah. That was scary. Okay, are we ready? Tough decision. Let's cast our votes. Oh my goodness. And we're back. That was scary. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ew. So, which movies are getting extra points? What about you, Jaira? Uh, I went with The Little Mermaid. I even drew one of these dudes. Ah, oh, yeah. impressive. I went with The Little Mermaid because um, she's the only one who's actually called a witch and is a villain throughout the entire movie, so I thought she deserves some recognition for that. Also she does a lot of witchy things. She transforms Ariel, she transforms herself, she... I guess she does a lot of transformations. She also keeps a garden of these little dudes, which is yeah. pretty creepy. And I, I really like Ursula as a villain. She's got a great witchy song, so that's why she got my vote. Alright. Yeah. Well, I went with The Black Cauldron because it's a movie that needs some more love. <laughs> and The Horned King really needs some more love. But he was just so extreme, like so over the top, like unapologetically witchy, evil, skeletor. Yeah, like what crazy. was he? He was like a skeleton. He wasn't Who even, knows? Yeah. He wasn't even like a person. No. Yeah, he's <laughs> just. Just plain scary and that ain't witchy, and yeah. <laughs> so there's there's no way around it. Yeah, and then there was also the other witches in the show that had a lot to do with the plot as well. Um, didn't like the movie, but if you're looking for a witchy villain, this is definitely one to check out. I can understand that. That was a good one too, but I went for Princess and the Frog. Yeah. I don't know why I drew a cauldron. I just don't know what else to draw. I but, do one too. Oh, yours is better than mine. But why isn't it black? Yours black. Alright, so why did you go with Princess and the Frog? I went for Princess and the Frog because Dr. Vasilian. I don't think he's a doctor. <laughs> I honestly don't think that man's ever I'll been to medical call school. Him <laughs> okay. Shadow okay. Man. He's also called Shadow Man. Hey, that works. Okay, so the Shadow Man, like he, like even the name Shadow Man is like, yeah, and he just like transforms people. He has a lot of magic and and he's creepy. And, like, he's not really a witch, per se, but... He's a witch doctor. Yeah. I I wouldn't go to the hospital. I, I wouldn't want him to give me my shots. <laughs> it's true. But, yeah, he's just scary. I agree. I think probably Princess and the Frog went pretty dark with their black magic. Yeah, for sure. Um, I went with a classic, Sleeping Beauty, mm. because... She's unapologetically witchy, yeah. you yeah. know? She calls herself the mistress of all evil, and at one point she says that she is going to use all the powers of hell. <laughs> yeah, not even some of them. Yeah. Like, all of them. <laughs> all of them, to transform herself into a 
dragon. All breathing yeah. purple and green so, dragon. So, uh, she's like just outright evil and I think the thing that I really like about her being such a witchy villain is that in this movie they're really clear that um, that she has to be defeated by truth and yeah, you know righteousness and, righteousness yeah. and so um, and also I also have memories of a kid being terrified by that scene where she's a fire breathing dragon so, I don't know I think it's went, cool dragons are cool I, I I was scared so I gave Sleeping Beauty my point there you go. So for our witchy villain categories, we have four separate movies getting points. First up, Sleeping Beauty, Cha-Ching, and then The Black Cauldron, Cha-Ching, and then The Little Mermaid, Cha-Ching, and finally down to Princess and the Frog for one more point. That ain't natural. Well, what do you think? What would you have voted for? Well, in fact, you can vote. So put it in the comments. We'll count up the votes and reveal them at the People's Choice Awards coming in just a few weeks. So make sure you vote and follow along to find out what winds up being the ultimate Disney movie. We will see you next time from the Disney Couch. Bye! Bye. Bye. Yeah.